Good morning. I'm Mike Mazzalonga with your Monday morning devotional. Sometimes when we listen to the news and they talk about the number of people there are in the world and the magnitude of the problems, we feel rather insignificant. It seems that corporations and governments are getting bigger and more powerful, and we, the solitary citizens, are becoming weaker and less influential all the time. There was a small article I picked up that reminded me of the importance of one person, the difference that one person can make. The article was entitled, How Important is One Vote? And it showed that in the political process, one vote, one person can make all the difference in the world. When it comes to one person and one vote, did you know that in 1645, one vote gave Oliver Cromwell control over England? In 1649, one vote caused Charles I to be executed. In 1776, one vote gave America the English language instead of German. In 1845, one vote brought Texas into the Union. In 1868, one vote saved President Andrew Johnson from being removed from office. In 1875, one vote changed France from a monarchy to a republic. In 1876, one vote gave Rutherford Hayes the presidency of the United States. In 1923, one vote gave Adolf Hitler the leadership of the Nazi party. In 1941, one vote saved the uh, selective service process here in the United States just weeks before Pearl Harbor was attacked. One single vote, one single voice makes a difference that can change history. Look at the people in the Bible who had only one vote to offer, and yet their voice, their influence affects us even today. Adam's vote brought death into the world. Noah's vote saved the human race. Abraham's vote brought the Jewish nation into being. Joseph's vote preserved it. Moses' vote freed his people. Mary's vote enabled God to become man. Jesus' vote saved the world. And Peter and Paul's vote brought salvation to every person, including you and me. We tend to believe that groups change the world, but throughout history, it has always been individuals who make the difference. Individuals who at some critical point in their lives cast a deciding vote on what they would do or let others do, what they would say or allow to be said what they would themselves attempt or support an attempt by someone else. No matter who or where, it usually comes down to a deciding vote, and each of us has a deciding vote. For this reason, we need to remember the following. First, your vote is important. Politically, at work, at school, your opinion or vote counts, because if you don't vote, someone else will. Even at home, you may cast the vote that influences your entire family's direction. Number two, your vote is the way that you influence your surroundings for Christ. Jesus said that we are the light and salt of the world, and our one vote equals one point of light, one grain of salt, which along with the others gives a Christian flavor to our world. And number three, your vote for or against Jesus will determine your eternal life. Jesus sets forth the offer very simply in Mark 16, verse 16, when he said, Those who believe and are baptized will be saved. Those who disbelieve will be lost. If you've not already done so, you have an opportunity to cast a deciding vote for your eternal future. I pray that you will obey Jesus' command to believe and be baptized. Well, that's it for today. I pray that you have a blessed week. Discussion questions. Number one, do you vote in elections? Why yes or no? Number two, share a time in your life when you made a difference in a situation or another person's life. Number three, What could you say or do to exert your influence for Christ in your surroundings?